Tell us about your new story. What are you seeing? Because the, the year, it's got off to a bit of a stumble, but you're saying investors still have no fear. I think we need to look past this kind of rocky year that we've had for the stock market in the first two weeks of 2024. Because when you peel back the layers and you look under the hood, I think there are signs that people are actually quite optimistic across the stock market, bond market, derivatives market. In the options market, for example, you're seeing just not a lot of fear. People aren't turning to the types of trades that would pay out if there were a big market drop. Yesterday, we saw the VIX slide alongside right. the S&P 500, which is pretty unusual. It means there's not a lot of demand for hedges. In the bond market, yields on risky and investment-grade corporate debt have fallen to some of the lowest levels the past two years. That's a sign people aren't that worried about the finances of some of the biggest right. U.S. corporations, and they're feeling pretty good about that right now. Yeah, I think the VIX hit its lowest level since about 2017, and you're mentioning a lower risk premium on some of those bonds. Exactly. So can I give you the other side of the coin? Jeff Gunlock out yesterday, um, pointed to some bearish technical signals. He's saying... The double top we've seen in the S&P from January of 2022, the same highs then as now, that's a bearish technical signal. He thinks it's a terrible time to be in the market. What are you seeing that he's not seeing? So it's really interesting. I think what we saw over the past few weeks heading into 2024 was this really violent rally. And that was everyone in the market seemingly rushing to the soft landing side of the trade. And I think we're about to see a huge test for that. And that is one reason to be cautious, right? We have CPI. Tomorrow morning, we have PPI. We have earnings from some of the biggest banks, and they've gotten bigger than ever. They're going to give us a really good read on how American consumers are doing. So I think that is some of the reason that we, we are seeing people kind of be cautious in trading this week. And let's not forget the bond auction, the 10-year bond auction today, the 30-year bond auction tomorrow, which seem to be the hottest market events are out there right now. Okay. So with all that in mind, you mentioned some of the big things we have this week. Earnings season kicks off, CPI Thursday, PPI Friday. With all that coming up, give us a sense of how you see today shaping up. What is your WEX word of the day? My WEX word of the day is wait and see because of that CPI data tomorrow morning. And I think people are afraid to maybe put on some big positions, put on some big trades ahead of that data um, because it's going to test whether Wall Street's soft landing dreams are going to come true. You know, we had that jobs number last week, which did show that, you know, U.S. companies are still hiring at a really robust pace. I think that kept the soft landing thesis intact. And now we're going to have a big test of that this week. It's one of the last kind of inflation reports before um, the, the Fed's next meeting. By the way, that's not just one word, Ganja. That's a phrase. <laughs> but it's like that commercial. You bundled them. It's you put, hyphenated. You I put thought them the hyphenation was okay. <laughs> it's going it's to work for us. Um, as we continue to look ahead to earnings season kicking off, what do you think about earnings estimates actually declining? They've been pretty much for Q4 cut in half uh, over the last few weeks from October 1st to December 21st. We're getting a, a new readout on Q4 earnings estimates on Friday from LSEG. But what do you make of that decline? It's been a really remarkable decline. I think analysts are now expecting around a 1% or 2% growth in profits for the fourth quarter. That's way down from the 7 or 8% they were projecting, you know, weeks or months ago. I think one sector to really keep an eye on in terms of earnings is tech. You know, the number one thing I was hearing from analysts and investors going into this year was, we think the rally is going to broaden. I'm sure you heard some of the same things. We, th we think small caps are going to keep rallying. And then what do we have this week? We see NVIDIA yeah. hitting an all-time high. So that makes me really question um, those assumptions about which sectors are going to outperform during earnings season and over the next few weeks. I think that's one of the biggest things to keep an eye on. Yeah. And it's interesting this morning to see the NASDAQ outperforming, at least NASDAQ futures outperforming Dow futures, Russell futures, S&P 500 futures.